And we indeed had a very robust meeting. Um, the high note of the meeting was the unanimous passage of a vote of confidence on President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, GCFR, Commander in Chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces. Um, members, especially those of the Nigerian Governors Forum, were satisfied with the presentation by the members of the Federal Executive Council. And after that meeting, um, there was an executive session between members of the Nigerian Governors Forum and Mr. President. And um, frank and fruitful discussions were held between both parties. And I'm glad to say we're on the right track. And um, at the same, in the same vein, members of the NGF also, like the members um, of the Council of State passed a vote of confidence on Mr. President. Um, we also wish him well and um, pray for God's guidance for him. Thank you very much. And good afternoon. Indeed, as uh, my colleague, Honorable Minister for Solid Minerals, uh, as well as the Chairman Nigerian Governors Forum and Governor of Kwara State have said, we did have the opportunity and the privilege to present to the Council of State, and in particular, the former presidents who turned out in large number to participate, and we had the opportunity to, in my case, update them on the economy, update them on how far uh, progress had been made in terms of the macroeconomic uh, policies being followed under the leadership of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. And these uh, policies are anchored in his eight priority areas. And the results to date have been very encouraging. In, we looked at the data, or we reported on the evidence and the data of this half year for which data was available compared to the first quarter and the second quarter of 2023. And um, in broad terms, the economy is growing. The balance of payments in particular, the trade balance and the current account balance are in surplus. The exchange rate is stabilizing. And inflation, though high, uncomfortably high for, uh, for the liking of Mr. President and his team, it is slowing and it is set to fall. But in particular, there has been support for the economy from investors, foreign investors by way of portfolio investors, domestic investors who are participating in important private-public partnerships, particularly the infrastructure sector. And foreign direct investment is beginning to, um, to, to recover. I would say. So on that basis, we looked at the, we, we reported on in particular the opportunities for the economy once stabilized for investment and growth. And identified for the meeting was the fact that we have exports, goods exports, non-oil exports at $55 billion last year with tremendous room to grow. And in particular, we identified that the service sector, that is uh, software services, computer services, accounting services, personnel services, which can, uh, which can be provided by young Nigerians, 
staying in Nigeria and providing services through the internet and through telephones, outsourcing in a word was a big area we emphasized. So in a nutshell, we reported that there was good progress being made, that the effort was going to continue to ensure that the interventions and uh, measures to ameliorate the high cost of living for individuals, for the agricultural sector, for industry, for small-scale businesses, were going to continue to be implemented um, with all efforts needed for success. And on that basis, um, we, we reported an optimistic outlook for the Nigerian economy and the Nigerian society in general as a result of uh, prospects for economic growth and economic progress. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't think we can take questions. Even you yourself, you can't take questions. Your production time is over. <laughs> <laughs> Clarification. Uh, what about? Two, there are two. Two. First of all, listen, listen, please. Listen. First of all, the entire country. Yes, good evening, gentlemen and ladies, and uh, welcome to this very brief briefing. <laughs> As you all are aware, the Council of State just uh, concluded its meeting uh, with all the former heads of state in attendance, uh, physically or virtually. Uh, the last count, I think uh, quite most of them were uh, the physically attending ones, uh, the uh, former head of state, um, General Buhari, and um, uh, good luck, good luck, Jonathan, who are there physically and the rest were there virtually uh, via Zoom. So in essence, in principle, all of them were in attendance, and that's uh, a very eloquent testimony to uh, the kind of support that they are giving to uh, our current president, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. A lot of uh, issues were exhaustively discussed at the meeting, and of course you know that apart from the uh, former heads of state, the constitutional composition of, of the Council of State includes all governors, all governors, security advisor, attorney general, and the rest. So the governors were all in attendance as well. And uh, some of us ministers were invited to make presentations on our roadmap on what uh, we've been able to achieve. Uh, the prospects and the challenges in our various uh, ministries. And so myself, the Solid Minerals, uh, coordinating minister of uh, uh, the economy, as the finance minister, Mr. Wali Edu, was also there to make presentation. The minister of budget was also there, made his presentation. The minister of works also made presentation. The Minister of Trade and Investment, uh, Dr. Doris, was also there. The Minister of Agriculture also was invited. So these seven of us ministers uh, made individual presentations to the, to the Council of State meeting. And uh, our presentations were well received from the feedback that we got immediately after individual presentations. And of course, at the end of it, matters of state uh, were discussed uh, in a robust manner and frank manner. And um, the National Security Advisor also was on hand to present the security situation of the country. And he did inform the Council of State you know, about the pre 
during and post events of the last protest, uh, which I do not call a protest, I call a movement to effect a change of regime by force, which was also resisted. And so, you know, the council thanked Nigerians at large for resisting any unconstitutional move to change government. If anybody is not satisfied with the government, any current administration, there's always an election coming. So you wait for election and cast your vote the way you deem fit. So the NSA briefed the council on the, the security situation and uh, allayed fears all around that In my books, that should be a thousand dollar fine. <laughs> so, after the NSA's uh, briefing, you know, generally he had laid uh, everybody's fears and uh, spoke on the tightness of the security around the country and uh, also reassured all and sundry that no, nobody will be allowed to truncate our hard-earned democracy. Any change of government has to be through the ballot and not through the barrel of the gun or through insurrection or through any other unconstitutional means. Only through the ballot box can any government be changed. And he reassured on the security readiness of all security agencies in the country you know, to secure our territorial integrity and to protect Nigeria's democracy. Now, the details of the presentation that the ministers did you know, will be too long for you, but succinctly put, it's just to let the Council of State know the progress being made in each sector of the economy. And the emphasis, of course, by the Renewed Hope Agenda, is on economic diversification. And that's why I was there. That's why a Greek was there. That's why all the other ministers, you know, that constitute, or the ministries that constitute the plank of the uh, Renewed Hope Agenda's economic diversification and transformation. The chairman of the Governor's Forum, the Governor of Kwara State, who is here with us, will give you a brief on other outcomes of the Council of State meeting. Thank you. 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 Thank you.